Hey guys, this is Tordor and today we've got Marrow's Teasers. These came out a couple days ago and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a video on it or not, but I decided that I wanted to because there's something in here that is worrying to me at least. Um, I, I know it's going to be worrying to one of the people in my pod because he complains enough about one of the cards we're going to talk about uh, without <laughs> there being another version of it. So... Uh, let's get started. So these are Marrow's teasers here. Uh, unfortunately, because of, you know, all of the leaks and stuff like that, a lot of them have kind of already been spoiled. Like this part here, a new batch of five related creature types. That's just Outlaw. Um, this one here is like the Mount, probably, like very probably, because it's like a updated version of... Um, like vehicles and a mechanic that people wanted. The dual lands with the land subtype, that is just going to be the deserts. There's deserts that ping for one when they come in. Um, and yeah, with the land subtype, which is desert. Uh, the modal one that is, uh, what's it called? Spree down here, as well as this one here that lets you swap. That's a spree card too. Uh, a new creature token that has an ability no creature token has ever had before. I don't think we have shown that. I, I think that, actually, no, this might be the mercenary the merc token um yeah the merc token is tap it to add what plus one plus zero to something i don't think we've had token with that before type of cards for skeletons and zombies so either way you know most of these things we've kind of already seen a few of at least for these top teasers here uh the creature tokens you know we've seen a couple of those the legendaries villains we've seen a fair few of those but here is where it gets interesting so there's a couple interesting very interesting ones so uh this one here is I think that's pretty boring. A lot of cards have that. If it wasn't cast for no mana, that's a very interesting mechanic for them to add. Plotting cards from your hand costs two less. Assumedly, that's going to be in the, uh, the is it colors and, you know, casting multiple spells. You can't cast this spell during your first, second, and third turns of the game. That's a very interesting one. I assume that's going to be a very cheap card or something like that. Um, I don't know. That's a very interesting way for them to lock something back. Uh, to target creature becomes a white rabbit's nice flipping's nice but this one here is the one that i'm very concerned about if a triggered ability of a legendary creature you controls triggers that ability triggers an additional time now keep in mind this could be on a particular color but that's still not going to be all that amazing why am i talking about this because this is seemingly just like a roaming throne 2.0 uh except it's even worse because you know depending on what color it is say it's for white um you just make a legends matter white deck and this is going to be insane in it roaming throne you're at least locked into a locked into a um like a, a kindred type or whatever you want to call it tribal um while uh this one here is just any, any legendaries there's so many insane things that this could potentially do if you have a look at roaming throne already like it's a 32 dollar card like 30 us dollar card um 24.55 for the for the fancy art which is hilarious um and you know roaming throne already is an insane card right like making it so that any trigger of say for example dinos all your tr dino triggers trigger again all your legendaries triggering again is a crazy card as well if we look at roaming throne it's already in nine percent of the decks right uh on scryfall you can't i mean on edh trick I don't really see that. Oh, that hip. I zoomed down. 9% of all, you know, 1 million decks. It is in 91,000 decks because this card just works with any, anything, right? Anything. Uh, you, you can put it into whether it's going to be a tribal deck, whether it's going to be a, you know, a, a deck that's just got a command that you want to double their stuff. If it's a, you know, whatever you want to, anything you want to double, you can potentially use this with, right? Right, but it, for something like Commander, for something like Commander, this is dangerous because this is just a roaming throne for whatever. Like, right, because you're going to have a legendary card. It's going to be a Commander. There's just an insane, like this is just insane for that. Um, 
Now, as I said, there's a chance that, you know, it's locked to a color, say, like, you know, red or uh, most likely like a white or green or something along those lines. Let's talk about another one, which is Delany Streetwise uh, Lookout. So, Delany came out in the most recent Carl of Manor, uh, and Delany is another card. They just double all the triggers for anything that is power two or less, which is a lot of cards, right? Like, uh, it's a lot of cards. There's a lot of, like, legendaries or, you know, cards that are, like, one power because they've got an insane abilities kind of thing. Like, one way for them to be able to um, be able to balance things is they have a weak power, but then their ability is really strong. So, Delny allowing you to be able to double that is just, you know, crazy uh currently sitting at you know 1677 1813 that's not too bad for a card that came out in carl of manor which is one of people's most disliked sets for quite a while like carl of manor is, is not great and if we have a look at delny over on edh rec uh it they are in like you know 8000 decks 3% of all the decks delny could be in they are in and it, that's just crazy but if you have a look at some of the cards that they can double like double taser double deli borker deli double course double mr house even like wow i didn't even think about mr house that's a crazy one um you know there's just an insane amount of commanders that delny can fit into because as i said like one way for them to balance like say for example um you know like it's a celestial toy maker here two power uh, Alicia focuses purely on cards that are two power, two or less. So Delany being in that deck is crazy. Like there's just so many different cards. This the council of four, the council of four literally has zero power. So that way, you know, they're not too powerful or anything like that. And doubling that is crazy. Like there's just, um, Delany is just a crazy, crazy card. And to enable like, you know, them to just be able to double all of those triggers is crazy. Roaming throne crazy so i can't see this other one not being crazy like if a triggered ability of a legendary there's like no matter what deck you're running right you're going to be running multiple legendaries i don't think there is any real decks that would only really run one legendary and which would be obviously your commander um or even i guess you could get away with your commander not being a legendary if you were running a planeswalker as one but that's a whole different ball game um the triggered ability of a legendary doubling twice is going to be crazy. This one here is though, as well, though, you get that many additional upkeeps steps after this phase. I, this is going to be really crazy potentially in, um, in a, like a suspend deck, like the, the 10th doctor or like any of the, any of the doctor decks that is, well, the 10th doctor, mostly, uh, 10th and 11th focused around, you know, that whole um, suspend mechanic, there's just going to be a crazy, like this could just be a really, really crazy card, depending on what it is. Uh, assumedly, you know, it's not on a permanent, uh, given us after this phase, it'll be just like, you know, an instant or a sorcery or something like that. Um, but, you know, potentially with, there's so many different ways that you could potentially flash it back or something along those lines. But either way, I just want to kind of, you know, talk about this with you guys. Roaming Throne 2.0, 3.0 um, is just crazy. You know, we've had, this is what, three sets in a row now? Yeah, Roaming Throne, Delny, and then um, whatever this one ends up being. Uh, I am going to be very interested to see how this goes. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Goodbye.